It's ahead. Thanks, Leo. Well done, Kylie. And it has been won by Sydney. Now, as you can see, it is very wet here in Sydney, and I'm told it is not going to ease off at all tonight. In fact, the rain is only going to get harder. Lucky for me, lucky for everyone sitting in the stands here tonight. They've had six inches of rain in Sydney since Sunday. It has rained persistently every day this week. They've had the covers on the centre square until the last possible minute tonight, until quarter past six. Then they had to take them off. So it is really going to be slippery tonight. As I welcome Tim Lane, there's a new look Stevie Milne, Tim. Not a lot of protection up top for the little goal sneak. Shades quarters of that semi-final night when the Swans played Geelong late yes. last year. A lot of rain, sodden MCG, uh, SCG. Leap and Leo's been in the news today, Tim. Yes, we'll get a couple of close-ups of him tonight. He might flog those off as well. <laughs> <laughs> Fraser Gehrig, he's been out of touch in recent weeks. Got to stand up tonight. As, uh, well, Revolt's been in pretty good form. Yeah. Just Barry Hall. Will Maguire get him? A bit's changed for Sydney. Remember, too, it looks as though he yes, will. Yes, he will. Any handshake? Any pleasantries? Just a bit of push and shove. Like old times. Got a real deal, I reckon, in the uh, media this week. Did uh, Matt Maguire through uh, the Swans. Just... Uh, a little bit rough, I reckon, the treatment Matt Maguire received. Anyway. And Leo's uh, wandering down to pick Fraser Gehrig up at the moment, uh, which Fraser's had a pretty good record on, Leo, and you can just see Fraser now wandering around. I think that's really important, that matchup tonight. If, uh, if Fraser can get his hands on the ball, it's wet weather, Tim, but uh, he's, uh, he's got a good record against the Swans. Fraser going off on one of his glassy-eyed strolls. The game is underway with a toss-up. St Kilda going left to right. And they'll have first use of the footy. Luke Ball sliding through the cricket pitch area. And uh, young Ricks helping, or not young, he's a 25-year-old rookie to Voss. But the kick, the idea right, just blazing long really in these conditions. But Roberts Thompson in the way. And Canelli in conditions to which he'd be well accustomed at this dowel. Low and flat to the wing is pretty good. Bolton working it on with his first use of the ball in his 150th. Well, see, so he's got uh, Stephen Baker quarters running around with uh, with him for the night, Jude Bolton. This is not tonight. <laughs> this is from last year's prelim final. And, gee, got a, I reckon this week it was uh, the Swans are out of order having a go at Matt Maguire. Bit rude to complain about anybody uh, after that. Exactly. Just saying before, it's a uh, good respect uh, paid to Jude Bolton. He's probably underestimated in some quarters, Jude Bolton, but uh, he's got Stephen Baker for the night, uh, which is uh, going to be a tough night for him. No, you're hanging on to him down your footy. Straight back. Will Barry be a bit wiser for the, uh, for the experience, I think. You know the cameras will be on him tonight. As Goods drives it forward, it's a beautiful kick. Big pack fly. Blake couldn't take the mark. Ricks is in there, fed it out. Quick kick by Voss. And over it goes. Going to be plenty of uh, plenty of this tonight, isn't there? There's going to be plenty of uh, contests and ball ups and boundary throws. Probably a free kick there uh, against Ricks, but uh, Sydney are just masters at the uh, the stop play. Jolly got a fist onto it inside the Swans 50. Fisher. It's the wild handball to his namesake. Yeah, the Saints work it to the wing. No mark to Milne. Ablett head over the ball. Stood up in the tackle, but his handball went astray to Graham. He's having a terrific year for St Kilda. Wobbles one. Barry backs himself and won it nicely. Little sidestep out of trouble from Milne. Now he's gone a bit too far. He's run down by Harvey. Umpire said he handballed it. Soccer off the ground by Ablett. O'Loughlin on centre wing. Tolerant umpiring from Michael Vozzo. Gave Barry a long, long time. There's Harvey pushed in the back by Ablett. It'll be his ball. The umpires, Vozzo, Schmidt and Ellis. Quick disposal by Harvey. And they must have known it was going to rain. Picking this fellow. Mark McGough. Gary goes. McGough goes for him. Pretty ambitious. In fact, halfway, Ricks has his first possession of the football on Deboe. And could he slot it Ooh. from there with his first kick in league footy? Join elite company. Slippery ball. Big game, no <laughs> pressure at all. Don't like his chances, uh, Tim, from here. Tough shot, big moment. Not bad, oh. not bad <laughs> at all. He's done it. What a terrific goal, what a start.
Well done. Well, my apologies, uh, Michael Ricks. Uh, he just didn't look like he was going to do anything but kick that, did he? I mean, uh, a wet ball on the boundary. That's one of the hardest places to kick the uh, the goal. And he just uh, didn't hesitate. The big fellow had a beautiful kicking action and uh, great, great start. Michael Ricks with his first kick in league footballers kicked the goal the 25 year old debutant and footy nomad What a story and what a start. What a doubting Thomas sitting next to us. Oh, <laughs> very negative Luke Darcy oh. We'll chalk that one up Michael Ricks in the memory bank for next season <laughs> St Kilda worker to the win Mark by Baker Told to go. Kicks to the contest. Revolt. Gonna be the couple. Back of the Packers crouch. Playing game number 193 in a row since his debut. Luke, I reckon in many ways these conditions present just the right sort of challenge to Grant Thomas and the Saints. Yeah, I think it brings them back into the game. They play against the masters of this situation though, so it is a huge challenge, but uh, they might be up to it. Just something to really cause them to gird their loins. Swans defending at the moment. Canelli, Revolt, awkward half volley. Ball. Sam Fisher mown down, pushed in the back. No. It's against him. And O'Loughlin, who's worked his way across the centre, places this pretty well. Swans with the numbers and O'Keefe on the slide. Had such a big night against St Kilda in that preliminary final last September. Good kick, but Maguire edged all out. Whistle, free kick. Very calm down, holding, holding the jumper. There you go. Martin Ellis, yes, indeed. So I've been a couple of uh, fairly technical ones, but probably the way to do it on a night like this. Craig Bolton, short circuits, goes to Hall. Nick Davis, I see it, I see it, but I don't believe it. <laughs> I reckon that was home had it not hit the goal umpire. <laughs> He's just a beauty, Nick Davis, isn't he? I mean, not many players, I think, would even attempt that. With a wet ball, he, was, uh, he was confident in his ability, wasn't he, Nick Davis? And he nearly pulled it off. Great skill. Great skill. Now Blake carries the ball to the wing. Did it bounce through off the goal on no, Pires' leg? Well, no, no, it hit the post. Definitely hit the post. Long kick. Deep into the St Kilda attacking territory. Swooping his mom, Tagner. Great tackle by Canelli. Ball spills. McGough punches it forward. Here's the G train. Fade for the free kick. Umpire was a wise to that one. Said, play on. Canelli's in there for Sydney. Harvey's in there. In the back. Free kick Sydney's way. Just look at the amount of numbers behind the ball here at the moment for the Sydney Swans. They don't flood. They just work so hard. Their midfielders, they're so disciplined. They get back, and Fraser was probably outnumbered maybe you know, one to about four at that stage. Ablett shorts it. And finds Kirk. Brett Kirk. Delivering to uh, O'Loughlin, and this time he's even deeper into the Saints' attacking half. Right down inside the defence of 50. Paul Williams, now a member of that most exclusive of clubs. Man who's played over 300 games. Barry. And he goes long. And he goes to a one-on-one. -on -one. Dempster in good position. Voss with him. Revolt. Dempster working it on out on the full. St Kilda's ball and the Saints Punch have started it. pretty well Punch here. They're making the Swans defend. And uh, they're playing it pretty much on their terms. Graham, they're running half back. Nick Davis has him covered. Lee Fisher out in front of Maguire, giving Hall some work to do. Maguire wasn't over ambitious and Gary should have swallowed it. Bad miss. Ball. Canelli contesting with him and holding it up. Good umpiring, allowed to go on. And Barry clears again. And Hall sagging back. Drops an easy mark, but has time to mop it up. Kick not great. Oh, Lachlan getting a lot of it in unfamiliar territory. Schneider low down, ground tying him up. He's over the top of it, he's going to get pinged. There's two of you on it! There's two of you on it! There's two of you, your team has got it. Oh. So free kick against Schneider, into the middle it goes. Revolt tries to hack it off the ground. Follows up now. 
Long kick, it's a good kick too, into the goal square. And the Swans can see the rush behind. Saints looking good early. They are, uh, Nick Rewalt there's got Craig Bolton for the night. Just a much improved player, Craig Bolton. They've both got enormous aerobic cap cap capability. You can see how hard Rewalt's working, so another key matchup tonight will be those two. Darren Jolly not trusting himself to mark that, Luke. He would have swallowed it. Oh, uh, he'd like to think he might. If he had his time again, he would have probably uh, chosen to mark that. So, St Kilda leading by a goal and uh, doing well, about 85% of the attacking at the moment. Good kick, Canelli. McVeigh. And he has a man loose up ground. Craig Bolton. Who's picked up Revolt. In the O'Keefe direction. Here's Jude Bolton with a chance. The roll of the ball just got away from him. O'Keefe. Harvey's got him. Again, the umpires uh, letting it go. Baker and Schneider. And a throw in. They're really happy with their start at the moment, St Kilda, because they, I think they, they spoke about last week, they are probably outbeaten in the contested area of the ball. And I think they're tackling well tonight. They're, they're beating their opponents one-on-one, -on -one, so good signs early for St Kilda. And these are the matchups taking place at the moment, right over the ground. And Sydney have it at half forward. And it's another free kick. See how you can pluck one out from there. <laughs> Wet conditions with about 10 players over the ball. Anyway... Umpire Schmidt has. And it's a free kick to Williams. And a short to Ablett. Goes to Long Bomb. It's a thumping kick. Gee, it's a massive kick. And in the end, it's all for nothing. And it's a free kick in the back pocket for out in the full. So Lachlan came and he touched it. But it's a free kick to the Saders. Harvey's created some space. Geez, he works hard, Robert Harvey. He's got Luke Ablett as an opponent, but... 33 years of age, or 34 now, and he just continues to work almost as hard as anyone in the AFL. McGough. He's playing his third match for the season. Kicks to the wing, no mark to Ricks. Goods. Again, pumps it inside 50. Well done by Fisher to spoil. And it's out of the full umpire's rule. And Lachlan can't believe it. Here's a replay. Meant to kick it, and he missed. So the Swans still goalless. Almost half the corner gone. McVeigh miraculously snaring that. Just conjuring it through the hands of those in front of him. Saints back in heavy numbers, and uh, McVeigh knows it. Goods. Now, Blake is picking up Goods. Goods is going to ball when the Swans are defending, by the look of it. Adam Goods below the famous SCG members stand here on the impossible angle. Luke, you're our goal-kicking expert. Is he any chance? <laughs> no chance again. Well, he gave it a roost, but he was always... A mile on the near side. So both sides of Sydney are still trying to play their possession game where they use the ball really well. I wonder at what stage they'll go, look, it's genuine wet weather footy. we just got to kick the ball down the line. And I remember the Crows won a final up here against Sydney. They just started kicking flat punts down the line. It's almost wet enough that the side that starts doing that first will probably succeed, I think. Short pass finds Lee Fisher. Play on him, to the side. Play on. He's off. Managed to get past O'Keefe. Looking for Voss. Well done by Bolton. And another throw in. So you just get the feeling that's not going to be very pretty tonight. Seven goals might do it, Luke. <laughs> it might be one of those nights, I think. <laughs> throw in. Very greasy conditions. Back of the pack is Goods. Great pickup for a big man. Fisher. His handball went straight to Kirk. His handball was smothered by Dal Santo. And yet another throw in. Just saw the skill of Adam Goods there. Is that the good players, whether it's wet weather footy or dry, their skills just come uh, become even more apparent. Dal Santo went off and uh, Goods followed him, as you might have seen there, just before the throw in. And there'll be another one now. Goods in Brownlow medal form this year. Playing at his very best. Just that one hand to pick up in the wet. I mean... Just great skill, and not many players can do that. Davis 
in the hall direction. Not able to pick it up. O'Keefe, non-preferred side, puts it into space. Hudson leads O'Loughlin, did it well. And Vostey to support him. And he has Jason Blake running loose. Now, if he can snare this cleanly, some killer a real chance. Some depth in the kick for Luke Ball. Well, he's a long way from goal, so they probably need another kick to score from there, although he'd be pretty much at the edge on fresh legs. Gives it a ride. Gives it a serious ride. But it's another behind. The Saints lead by seven points. Looks as though Luke Ball's playing permanent forward. He's got Ty Canelli as a matchup. Uh, he almost, uh, as strange as it sounds, it might be a defensive forward role for Luke Ball with the run that Canelli can provide. He might just want to uh, play him pretty closely as a forward. Fosdyke. Had it over to Leo Barry. He just thumps it long. One on one contest. Schneider against Graham. Schneider the front posse. Little soccer off the ground. Picked up by Roberts Thompson. Into the pocket. O'Loughlin's got a meter on Hudson. O'Loughlin kept his feet. But the boundary line beat him. I just about rate Canelli as Sydney's second most important player, Luke. How is he respected in the AFL? Oh, just enormously, uh, quarters. I mean, the way he's been able to uh, kick the ball for an Irish import has just been outstanding. He's run off halfback, and he reads the game so incredibly well, to the point where opposition sides are playing a defensive player on him wow. as, a, as a forward. Sydney haven't gone goalless in a quarter since the third quarter of last year's grand final. A day that didn't end too badly for them. They're not going to get a goal here by the look of it. Baker to Revolt, who's doing a lot of work up and down the ground. Harvey and Williams. A couple of 300 gamers. Swans have won seven of their last eight opening quarters. And in fact, in their last two matches, they've kicked five goals to none. So they're meeting their match tonight. The Saints with the only goal. And it looks as though uh, the home team are in for a bit of a slug. Milne and Baker, and another throw in. See, the wheels turned in two years. Remember, St Kilda were unbeaten after 10 rounds in 2004. They came here and lost. And since then, they have won 27 and lost 22. Their star has dimmed. Sydney's has risen to the very zenith. Justin Schmidt calls holding the ball on Ablett. That's it there. McGough's ball. He won an Anzac Day medal in conditions like this. Oh, Milne would be happy if he was taken over. But the umpire has no sympathy in him. Here it is. Well, they've kick. set a precedent with holding the ball so far, haven't they? They said if he's still on the ball tonight, we're going to play it very quickly. And that was a fantastic tackle uh, by Buchanan. And uh, that just shows if you, if you don't hang on to the ball, you're going to get penalised, which I think is a, uh, a good sign. And umpire Schmidt's paid them all. As they put it inside 50, it's a mark to Bolton. Craig Bolton. And there's the free kick. Step to your right. Mark's up here. Now, despite the fact he's a defender, he's kicked three goals this season. But he's lining up for right on 50. Well, he slipped as he kicked. Doing the roving is Roberts Thompson. Spinning out of trouble, got boot to ball into the pocket. And yet another throw in. It's all upside down, isn't it? Yeah. Roberts Thompson and Craig Bolton up forward. O'Loughlin's been down the back. Nice little spin out of trouble there a couple of times. Just couldn't quite finish it off. So throwing deep in Sydney's forward pocket. Hall to the back of the pack. Schneider didn't get the kindness of bounces. It's a free kick to Baker. High tackle. So the only goal of the match coming to Michael Ricks with his first kick in league football. What a start to halfback. McGough fed it out to Revolt, who ducked the tackle. Well played. Now a long ball, two ball, one out with Canelli. Just the superior strength there, and he mopped up beautifully. Did Ty Canelli as uh, Sydney switch over to Big Jolly. Saints by seven. It's Ricks one, Sydney Knicks. <laughs> Jolly goes to Goods with Peckett bearing down, but too late. That might be 50. Should be, surely. And the local fans are inclined to echo that sentiment. Barry into the 50. Hall with plenty against him. O'Keefe wearing some of the dive from the, uh, the ground. 
the 50. Good smother by Sam Fisher. And some killer holding firm here. They are, and uh, just having a look at that 50-metre penalty, probably probably tried to milk it a little bit, Adam Goods, and a fantastic smother in the end uh, to keep St Kilda back in possession. Sydney just tackled so well. I know it's a good start for St Kilda, but I think this will suit Sydney. Jude Bolton is the blazing flat punt. Luke Revolt playing down the back and playing a very important role. Graham to Peckett. Williams coming at him. Good long ball. Luke ball again. Canelli with him. And uh, your hands need to be clean against Canelli, and Luke Ball knows it. He hung his head in disappointment at that. Good matchup, Luke Ball and, uh, and Canelli. Looks like that's going to be a permanent role for Luke Ball. He's obviously not 100% fit, but still a dangerous player. I just think they could straighten the ball up. They haven't seen anyone go down the corridor yet. They're still trying to use the leads. You've got Gehrig at one end and Hall at the other. I think the side that starts straightening the ball up is going to get a, a few more uh, scores on the board. Chambers the tap. Picked up by Ball. Quick snap at goal, came off Harvey's knee. There's Gary, Schwartz, Barry. Handball over to Bolton. He's dispossessed. Blake keeps it alive. Now Schwartz has ridden over the line. Funny that both sides would, would have known how wet it was. They would have gone out and done their warm up, up. But it's very hard to change your style. Even when you're used to chipping the ball around and maintaining possession, very hard to just suddenly kick the ball down the line and. I think they might have to. We've got a game on our hands here. It's early days, but uh, this is going to be a dogfight. Milne paddling. Ted Richards played every game this year after moving from Windy Hill. Schneider, lovely creative ball for Craig Bolton. They're all up the ground. He has nothing to go to, and Peckett is the first man back. Did you call me the C word? McGuire's beautifully working Hall up the field well, is Barry better just plonking himself inside 50 and it's not the way it works these days well Luke? pretty brave effort from uh, Maguire because Barry's work rate's outstanding and to to run off him not many players have got the courage to try and burn him the other way so full credits to Matt Maguire I hope he can just be there in the uh, in the final quarter to run with him Montagna has revolt giving him an option and his first quarter has been outstanding he's had it half a dozen times and uh, virtually all of them down the back Lee Fisher numbers not really with St Kilda there but uh, the slide of the ball favours Fiora natural left footer and a good user of the ball Gehrig just whisked away by Milne didn't get enough curl on the kick Gehrig was looking for the second bite and the pickpocket had struck wearing the same colours. I reckon this is their best option. I mean, uh, get the ball, I know it sounds simplistic, and it is, get the ball in tight on a wet day, allow Milne and Ball to uh, pick up the crumbs, take the pressure off with your skills, and I think they'll find that uh, there'll be a lot of opportunities at the front and centre if they get the ball one-on-one -on -one to Gary. Not that that was an easy shot, but he's been off target this year, Stephen Milne, and had a great conversion rate the last couple of seasons, but this year he's 10 goals, 12. Canelli still short and his kick finds Dempster. Sean Dempster being in and out of the side, playing game number five this season. Works it to the wing. Schwarz. Got a bit of space to move. Stamps it short. Beautiful kick. And Gerrit thought about going. And then looked around and said, Well, I'm only 40 out, so back he goes. And they're all going to be worth their weight in gold tonight, six-pointers. And this is a great opportunity for St Kilda. Nice pass from Shaws. Didn't blaze away. And Fraser Gehrig, who was 10th on the goal-kicking table. His conversion rate's 56%. He's got 24-19 this year. From 45, Saints get their second. Well... As I said, they're all going to be worth their weight in gold, the six-pointers, and St Kilda have got a couple. Sydney yet to notch one, and well done by Schwarz. Well, this is a, an outstanding start to quarters. Uh, it's only a 14-point lead, but in the context of the way the game's going to be played, uh, as you said, uh, shots on goal are going to be rare, and uh, you've got to nail them, so good signs for St Kilda. Just a bit of... Bit of footage here of uh, Nick Del Santo. Uh, hasn't touched the ball yet. Had Brett Kirk to start off with, and he's a human glove, Brett Kirk, because he had no possessions. Been on the bench and back on now. Del on... Santo averaging 24 disposals this year. It's a night on which St Kilda have to win. 
And I reckon these conditions are made to order for them. Maguire. Gone, holding the ball. Justin Schmidt again. He is the holding the ball king. <laughs> Richards to take the free. 60 metres out. Right to the edge of the square. That is a good grab by Ackland. Confident stuff. Stay there, stay there. Trusted himself. Fisher. Sam, long ball and uh, percentage ball. Not giving the Swans a, a look in there. So there'll be a throw in. If St Kilda lose tonight, they're out of the eight and they are three games out of the top four. So really with no hope of the double chance in the finals, it is a huge game for them. And these are the sorts, sort of conditions, I reckon, for a team with its back to the wall to really excel. And they have done early. So a ball up just Sydney's side of the centre. Less than two and a half minutes left, and it might be their first goalless quarter since the grand final, the reigning premiers. Harvey. And his kick, almost marked by Jude Bolton. Yeah, and the Fosler got a high tackle. And a free kick awarded by umpire Schmidt, who is on fire. <laughs> but no doubting that one. Kicks to Goods. And Goods takes the mark. Having a very consistent year. 21 disposals and eight marks a game. Long ball. Maguire and Hall. Push. Barry won't like it, but he's been penalised. That's probably their quarters. It's just two hands in the back. Uh, you just can't push directly in the back and probably a free kick. Had to wind the mics down for that one. <laughs> and that's an excellent mark taken by Nick Rebold, who is working his backside off. That's his uh, fourth mark, and he's, having, he's had seven touches so far. So St Kilda will be very happy with this first quarter. Goddard, who has spent some of the quarter on the bench, been pretty quiet goes in the Gehrig direction now that was legitimate edging of the opponent out the hands weren't used it was just a neat wiggle of the hips from Leo Barry Barry Hall take note Kirk so less than a minute to go and uh, the Swans haven't really looked like it well done by Schwarz, getting St Kilda the last roll of the dice here. It was fantastic pressure from St Kilda. Sydney are outstanding at getting blocks and enabling the, uh, their teammate to get some space. But the one-on-one -on -one pressure, that was the mark from Leo Barry. But St Kilda players have really done their job one-on-one -on, -one on their opponents. And looking at the two different free kicks, I think the umpire got them both right. Black and white. Chambers bringing it down. Now the Saints have time if they can extricate it from here. And Justin Schmidt's on the job. It's the Saints ball. That's his 10th free kick of the quarter. Umpire Schmidt. Del Santo, a kick and a little bit from goal. His first touch. Can the Saints make something of this for a comprehensive first quarter victory here? Schwarz a long way out and time just about gone. Well, he really needs to kick it now. There's not time for two plays. He's got to have a shot. That's it. He obviously wasn't as aware as, as some of those around him. St Kilda, they've had a good turn. They could be well pleased with that. They've come here, the underdogs, and they lead by 14 points. Well, they'll be uh, extremely happy going into quarter time to be in front under these conditions. They've uh, they've tackled well. They've played their opponents one-on-one uh, -on -one and uh, just handled the conditions a little bit better, the, uh, the St Kilda side. They were really worried last week that they were beaten around the contest. I think tonight they've come in, they've served it up to uh, the Sydney side, and it's been an outstanding uh, start for St Kilda quarters. It has been. We'll take a break. It is the Saints by 14 points over the Red Hot favourites tonight. The Sydney's his first goalless quarter, first quarter since round five 2002, also against St Kilda. And an excellent first turn by the Saints. The underdogs tonight in very slippery conditions. Two three plays, one behind. Ricks with a goal, his first kick in league footy. Now, Grant Thomas, this was when uh, Schwarz had the ball at quarter time and just showed how wound up he is. He wanted Schwarz to get that ball moving quickly, but of course, Schwarz doesn't have the luxury of the, of the cloth, does he? 
nothing more frustrating having spent a bit of time in the coach's box when you know that you just want the guy to kick the ball in and the, the uh, Grant Thomas would have been having the runner on the way out there saying tell him to kick it in and give us a chance to score and the runner never gets there in time and that's why they age very quickly coaches and uh, Grant Thomas is probably doing that at the moment. It seems at times that players know to within five or ten seconds, Luke. Yeah, the message is able to get out pretty quickly from the bench in, in most occasions. Depends uh, where the player is. I guess being in the forward pocket, it's harder to get the... Yeah, I'm sure they would have the runner on, on his way out, but uh, obviously you can only have run, one uh, runner on the field at the time. And just a shot of Barry there, he's been a little bit frustrated. I think Maguire started pretty well. He gave away a free kick, Barry, in the first quarter. And a uh, bit of feeling between those two. We know the history, we saw it before the game. But, uh, yeah, I think Maguire would be happy with his start. And uh, he wouldn't want to get Barry too frustrated. He might, uh, he might just cop <laughs> another one. He's uh, just had the one kick as Barry Hall. Revolt. Geez, done a lot of hard work down deep in defence, hasn't he? That first turn. On the wing at the moment. As we start the second turn, it is the Saints who are out of the eight at the moment, leading by 14 points. Jude Bolton in game 150 kicks a torpy inside 50. Beautiful uh, anticipation by Lachlan. Handballs over to Hall, who kicks Sydney's first goal for the match. He read that well, didn't he, Michael O'Loughlin? Great anticipation, just reading of the flight of the ball. He, uh, he's just outstanding at that, Michael O'Loughlin, isn't he? It's just uh, so important to set a clearance here. Joe Bolton winning the ball forward, but uh, you know, just to read the, read the ball in flight like that, you can't teach that. That's just an instinctual thing, and uh, Big Barry would be happy. He's got himself an easy possession, and uh, poor old uh, Mark McGuire. He's done the right thing, Matt McGuire, going to the, the opponent, but... The Swans' retort to a poor opening quarter could not have been more emphatic. And Barry Hall personifying it all. One kick in the first term, one goal in the first 15 seconds of the second, but uh, a big assist from Michael O'Loughlin. Here they go again, Buchanan, and here's Bazza. Maguire got a bit of him there, no free. Davis, clever, Craig Bolton. Goods with the flight, Blake standing his ground well. Maguire, as a free kick was paid, St Kilda's way an advantage called. Baker with Bolton, Jude Bolton. Baker winning nicely there. McVeigh tied up, so a ball up on the wing. Well, Hall, a chance for a mark there, and he would have been having a second shot in not much more than a minute. Just a shot there, uh, Brett Kirk following Nick Del Santo everywhere tonight. So uh, he's in for a tough night, Nick Del Santo. Just one disposal so far for Del Santo. He's been averaging 24 a match in season 2006. Free kick to Voss at halfback. Short to Baker. Not a lot on offer. That's the reason for Baker's indecision. Decides to go to the wing to a one-on-one -on -one contest. We'll kick off the ground by Bolton was good to O'Keefe. Back to Bolton. Oh, brave Max Hutchinson. Very, very brave. That is Rod Waters. He can see it coming too. He's got courage almost to the point of uh, stupidity, uh, Max Hutchinson. I mean, it's so admirable, but he just gets himself in a position where he thinks he's going to get killed every week. Now. Well, Roberts Thompson did the right thing there. And it could have been anybody. <laughs> and uh, the bloke with number one might have been anybody. Such a great part of the game, that. I mean, uh, just there's probably no other sport. You look at Max Hudson there, you run with the flight of the ball. You, it's it's, You're open just, right it's up, expected, yeah. but Max does it uh, just every week, doesn't he? Saints still lead. Jolly rucking against Michael Ricks, who kicked the first goal of the night with his first kick in league football. It's a wet night in Sydney. No place for the faint-hearted. There's the first gamer. 25-year-old debutante and made the most spectacular start. He's rucking here against Jolly, who got the better of him there. He's holding his own well, Michael Ricks, in the contest. He's a strong opponent, Darren Jolly. He's uh, very hard to move off the ball and you know, number three in the competition for hit-outs, uh, Darren Jolly, this season. And Ricks, he's holding his own. He's kicked the goal and great, uh, great find so What's far. What's his job? To negate or to actually try and create? Just not to give away before he kick and give a contest. He's done that very well so far. Swans out possession, Buchanan to Fosdyke. Left foot kick into the pocket. And we'll have a throw in. So Swans looking much better in the uh, early stages of quarter number two. 
frustrating night for forwards at this uh, these occasions, aren't they? Not many uh, easy possessions for a forward tonight, and uh, Big Barry's getting a little bit frustrated uh, at the moment. Swans dominating early possession in this second term, as the conditions have somewhat improved here. The SCG rain got very heavy just before the match. Fifty from the Swans goal. Charlie's in there. Oh, great pick up here, Cannon. Goods. Roberts Thompson slides into it. So does Ball, who fed it out. Fosdyke, does he keep it alive? No. So a throw in just outside the Swans attacking 50. Down the other end. Gehrig and Barry. Almost a game of metres uh, on these, these sort of occasions where if you can just search the ball forward, get some ground your way, it's uh, all going to go well towards winning the game, I think. Swans are just about the clearance kings. They're number two on the table this year. St Kilda number 14. And it's going that way so far. Jude Bolton takes this wide. And we'll have another clearance contest. The numbers at the moment, Sydney leading 14-7. So they're winning 2-1 to one in that area of the game. Let's see what they can make of this. Close to goal. Hall and Roberts Thompson both in there. A bit of funny business going on. Kirk. Davis not quite expecting it. Fosdyke under it. Schneider in there too. Schneider still trying. Davis, Kirk, some killer all the while just trying to hold it up. Maguire. Now Del Santo, but nowhere to go. Kirk, the glove had him. Got into his back. Del Santo's ball. Yeah, nah, on his back, though. It pained Martin Ellis to give the decision, but he gave it as he saw it. So far in the game, we've had five ball-ups and 21 throw-ins. As the ball goes out wide, we're about to get number 22, I reckon. On oh, centre wing. Here's the matchups as uh, they exist at the moment. Jolly and Revolt. Third man up was Roberts Thompson. Well, in the right contest, he was shepherding him out. So free kick going to Nick Revolt. He's really playing like a ruck rover at the moment. Goes back to Maguire. Now will he just bang it long? He does. Thumping kick inside 50 out in front of Gary. It's a ripping kick. And Gary on the second bite takes the mark. Beautiful kick by Maguire. There you go, Luke. Long and direct. It's the first time someone's done it for the night. And how, how much more dangerous does it look? I mean, he gained 50 metres. Even if Garrick doesn't mark it, it's inside their 50. Surely that's got to be the way to play from now on. The top. It's the drop punt. Right into the goal square. Pack fly in front. Good mark. Excellent mark taken by Jolly. Would you be using the top around the ground, Luke? Yeah, I think it's, it, even though the rain stopped, it really is genuine wet weather footy and uh, just to gain meterage at the moment, I know both sides are highly skilled and, and, and every side of the competition is now, so it goes against your grain just to, to mugle one down the down the field, but if it stays like this, I think it's the best option. If you're chipping it around like they're trying to do at the moment, you're going to turn it over and make mistakes. Barry dancing around Harvey stylishly, but the kick was poor. Ball, and that's a lovely delivery. Gary didn't have to move. Now he's got himself into a bit of bother, but he's delivered well to Goddard. Fight behind, behind them up. Fight behind the ball, uh, Tim. Baker's in there. It's been going for about 30 seconds now. Watch, watch. Easy, let go. Let go now. Let go now. Gary did well there. Jude Bolton caught up in it all. Normally a pretty peaceful character. Now Brendan Goddard with good skills. The man on the mark, not much more than 30 out. The Saints have their third. Just see that kick again. At, uh, just a turnover when he perhaps could have gone longer down the line. And smart play here by Gary. Just to, uh, just to show a bit of poison. Chip one in, uh, inside and uh, Goddard did the job.
bit of a stoush off the ball. Bolton not like the attention from Baker. And that went on for a good 30 seconds. In the meantime, St Kilda has got its third. 3-3 three, three plays 1-1. One, one. He's got that habit of annoying people, Stephen Baker. <laughs> and he's probably involved in more wrestles per year than anyone in the comp. Oh, Saints are doing the business on the scoreboard at the moment in a low-scoring contest. Back inside 50, they go Del Santo. Fired out the handball. Fisher kicks into the goal square. Garrick, free oh, kick. Let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah, hold of it. As soon as they said to jump by, the yeah. umpire will blow the whistle every time. And the Saints get their fourth. Pull oh, their away now. And Gerrick coming off. It wasn't much of a hole, but. I guess in that 50-50 situation, it's what the umpire sees, isn't it? And you can see Garrick's jumper being stretched. And isn't it a dangerous play, Court? Is it a, in a wet weather condition? Get the ball to the top of the square. You might get a free kick. If not, it spills in a dangerous position, and the crummers can uh, can have a crack at it as well. Christy Malthouse with a report on Fraser Garrick has just kicked his second goal. He was actually trying to come off the ground just before he kicked that goal. He hurt his foot in the marking contest just before it, so the trainers are having a look at it now. He's been good so far. He's kicked two of their four, and uh, he set up one for Goddard a moment ago after his opponent, Leo Barry, turned it over. And Barry not having the best of times, even though he's had a fair bit of the ball. Graham. Good confident stuff for the Saints. They're growing in stature here. Goddard with Milne laying the shepherd. Schwarz there too. Swans having to defend grimly. Goddard, the goal unguarded. He was a chance there, but he hooked that too much. That was touched off his boot, I think. Or yep. was it out? So yep. it's not out on the full. Just having a look at this uh, replay before from Fisher, I think St Kilda have adapted to the conditions a bit better. They're driving the ball in long to the contest. Unfortunately, Gehrig's off the ground, but I think they're a bit smarter at the moment. They're getting the ball deep into the uh, forward 50, and they look more dangerous because of it. And another chance here for the Saints. Jolly got the tap. Good. Fed out by Blake. Now got a mill. Can he win some magic? Right foot kick from Stephen Milne is offline. Two behinds to Stephen Milne. It's St Kilda. Now leading by 21 points. And the Swans winning sequence being threatened here. They've won six on the trot after a slow start to the season. Looked as though they might be on their way to something really big. It's their best since they won eight in a row in their grand final year of 1996. Nick Davis doing the kick in. Dempster against Goddard. Goddard doing some good things in this term up forward. McVeigh missing Kirk. He's got to work now. Lee Fisher with him. Crouch. Milne there. Could be dangerous. Got to get it out now. He does. Del Santo. Off Schwarz for a behind, but St Kilda pressing and making the reigning premiers look a little mediocre the margin 22 and in these conditions that's a lot it certainly is sydney have it in the back pocket and bolton kicks to the wing it's a beautiful pass nice 50 meter pass there from craig bolton and his kick finds at Roberts Thompson. Move it on! Play on! Play on! Kicks towards Hall. Jude Bolton couldn't get a clear handball away. Big high ball by Maguire. Back into the middle. Canelli at the bottom of that. Kirk's in there. Leading stat getters in the game for Sydney. Nine to Jude Bolton. Eight to Barry. Eight to Craig Bolton. Well, for the Saints, nine to Revolt, eight to Ball, and seven each to the Fisher boys, Lee and Sam. Play on. Knocked forward by Jolly. Ball needs to be clean. Little soccer by Ablett. McVeigh against Peckett. And Roddy's shotgun was Harvey. He was there to mop up, and he did it well, the veteran, to Voss. 
back to ball. Just weighs up the options, doesn't panic. And his kick's good to find Hutchinson. Much more direction and authority about the Saints. Swans surprisingly aimless. Hutchinson to ball. Sydney getting back in numbers and ball is able to advance without any pressure. Now he draws somebody and is able to loop it over the top to Sam Fisher. And this looks promising for St Kilda. Milne, though, has some big men against him. Blake getting a hand in there. High tackle, Sydney free kick. Buchanan to take it for the Swans. Half the second term got its nine scoring shots to two. It's a measure of St Kilda's dominance. McVeigh to space. Nothing there for Sydney. O'Loughlin making a good fist of it on Peckett. And working it to Ablett. Ball up. Well, I think, the, uh, as we said before, uh, just have a look at Paul Roos in the coach's box. He'd be frustrated because I just don't feel as though the Swans have adapted to the conditions. Hasn't rained for a while, but it is a wet weather day and they're still trying to pinpoint passes, play their game that they're better at than anyone else, but uh, the conditions probably won't allow them to do it. Hudson dropped a difficult mark, picked up by O'Loughlin. It's a high ball. Roberts Thompson's one out. Oh, he's dropped the chess mark. They're all tough tonight, I guess, but perhaps what he should have taken as St Kilda can see the rush behind. Even then, it was in a dangerous spot. It was just a, a snap around the corner from O'Loughlin. No uh, real direction in it, and something happens. You know, he probably should have taken the mark, and uh, a lot more dangerous when they do that. Well, that slipped right through. <laughs> Did it what? He didn't get close. Like watching Phil Tufnell Field. <laughs> That's right. Goddard. And able to advance down the corridor. One on one here. Ackland against Jolly. And a big win for the Sydney man. Davis well held by Goddard. Well played by uh, Craig Bolton to Kirk. Roberts Thompson again. Well, they say everyone makes mistakes, but the good players don't make the same one twice. Twice in front of Rebold. Yeah, well done, uh, Lewis Roberts Thompson. I've just watched him uh, pretty closely. He's worked uh, Nick Rebold over and. I think Revolt not used to playing as a backman and uh, Roberts Thompson's done that well. He's put him down in a position he doesn't want to be in and uh, he now has a shot at goal. He's got to finish it now. They need it. The defender threads it through. Well done. Nothing more frustrating for a four than having a backman kick a goal on you and... Uh, just a wet ray from Roberts Thompson's been good. He's, uh, he's stuck close to Rewalt. Rewalt started the game well. But uh, Lewis Roberts Thompson, he's uh, pushed forward and uh, dropped the one that we said he should have taken and didn't make the miss twice and kicked an important goal. Just having a look at this stat there, the amount of clangers in the game, it's 24 to Sydney and fighting 14 to St Kilda. It just shows the Swans overusing the ball a little bit more than St Kilda. And I think when they take the pressure off, off themselves and go long, it'll, uh, it'll be reversed. Second goal of the season to Roberts Thompson. As Sydney work it forward again, Paul's got to beat a couple. And Carnes is the most taken by Pickett. Justin, Justin, come around. Next In a great... Play for St Kilda over a long period of time, Justin Pickett. 33 now in the twilight. Game number 241 tonight. There's a man who's got everything out of his football career. Baker. Kicks long haul. Has got the sit here. Got rid of Maguire and did it nicely. There you go, learned from his mistake the first time. Stuck out the big backside. Rather than use the hands to push. Long way out from goal though. He's on the wing and just kicks to a contest. Flying with Schneider. They're knocked over the line by Sam Fisher. So it's 15 points in favour of St Kilda. Halfway past the halfway mark of the second turn. There's the mark to Hall. Quick kick by Schneider. Ineffective. Buchanan slapped it out to Bolton. Kicks it deep into attack. Hutchinson underneath it. Can't take the mark. Richards is there for Sydney. Now it's a hot footy. Roberts Thompson tries to knock it out to Richards. 
ball still alive. What a desperate stuff as St Kilda defend and defend well as they momentarily put themselves out of danger, but the mark's taken by Goods. And Sydney might just be starting to get into this, but that's a gutsy mark. Kane Ackland, a bit of pain for his effort. Did well, he's taken a couple of good marks in defence. That's a great placement, setting up Peckett on the breakaway for Gehrig. He's changed his boots by the look of it. As the full forward. What a smart kick that was by Kane Ackland and uh, Justin Peckett, he's a clever player, got himself in the centre of the ground and just every time they've gone through the corridor St Kilda, it just opens the play up for Gehrig and they look so dangerous playing through the middle of the ground. It takes some courage, but the results are, uh, are positive. Lists for his third and a quick reply. And three goals on a night like this is a huge contribution. Frustrated this year, Fraser Gehrig. He's, he just hasn't quite been in the sort of touch that we know he can. He's a dual Coleman medalist, but uh, his record against Sydney has been outstanding over a long period of time. And uh, Leo Barry is a, he's a, he's a beauty, but he's got his hands full even in the wet weather with uh, with Fraser tonight. Three goals to the G train, who continues his good form against the Sydney Swans. And this is a very handy lead. Out to 21 points as they work it forward again. The Saints through McGough. Revolts in there. Goods. Front and centre. Run down by Blake. Forced to release the football. Voss desperate. Handball by McGough. Over to Montagna who finds some space. A long ball. Kicks in the direction of Revolt. And Gehrig who flies high. Breaks open the pack to Fraser Gehrig. Lurking in the goal square is Revolt, but they can't get the ball to him. Clearing kick by the Swans. And in the end, it was a very good one as it just trickles over the line. You wouldn't call it deliberately out? Oh, he'd be a bit... <laughs> 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 Watch him bust the, the pack game. open here. Bang! You know he's in good form, Fraser, when he's uh, splitting packs over, over like that. And I'll tell you another player who's uh, done a really good job. We thought he might have get the job, Jason Blake. Kept Adam Goods just to one possession this quarter. Here's McGough. And he gives the Saints a chance, but the numbers against Revolt. Jared Crouch has had the job on Milne. Williams, well subdued there by Montagna. Ooh. Goddard tied up by Richards. Free kick to Williams for a push in the back. Statistically, there's virtually nothing between the teams thus far. 82 kicks each. St Kilda have had 33 hand passes to 26. Swans have laid more tackles. They've won the clearances. And yet Sydney on the scoreboard are winning handsomely. They've been the more efficient outfit. O'Keefe hasn't really placed that. Hall with a couple against him and Hutchton makes a good job of it. Just saw Ryan O'Keefe there holding the ball up. And the way Sydney play normally is they'll huddle and break and hit a short lead. And at this stage of the game, in this wet weather, they're not going to be able to hit those short targets. So he's got to drive the ball long. Let Barry just sit it on his head and give a contest down the line. Chambers rucking against Ackland. Fosdyke. And it'll be okay, a ball guys, up. Okay, guys, that's fine. Let it up. Let it up, man. That's fine. Next thing. Next thing. Straight to the line, guys. Straight to the line. Arms up. Arms up. Play on. Ackland went out with strength. Schneider fed it out to Jude Bolton. Quick kick into the goal square. And uh, Dempster almost. Richards is in there. Tapped out by Fosdyke. Hall spun out of trouble. Barry Hall left foot snap. Is across the face and in the end no score. Great contest, wasn't it? It was a great contest and you're just not going to score pretty goals on a night let's say tonight. I mean Barry nearly did the impossible but you're just going to have to work really hard for everyone to get tonight. Ackland got his way to the front but he tapped it straight to Fosdyke who had the kick smothered. Fosdyke has another crack. Chambers is in there. And oh, Fisher. That's a cut, says the umpire. So it might have been a genuine fumble. It was somewhere between a fumble and a deliberate out. <laughs> Saints have to defend here. Lead by 21. They don't want to be giving it up late in the first half. They've been outstanding. Williams to O'Keefe. Dangerous from there with the left. Good kick. Not quite. 
Margin 20. St Kilda would have loved to hold that when the siren sounds to end the half. Ryan O'Keefe, a left footer, just got a bit of late curl. And the short kick finds McGough. Out into space. Fuhrer will get there first. He's immediately mowed down by Canelli. And will be a throw in. Getting on Empire Schmidt's directions there. So that was all right. Nearly wanted the free kick. So from the throw in, Del Santo dispossessed. Quick kick by Graham. Schneider with the long sleeves. He's mowed down by Peckett. Nice pick up by Blake. Quick hands to Schwarz. He missed the target. Now the Swans get it back. O'Keefe just throws the ball onto the boot to the 50. Dempster. Got the free Advantage. kick. Advantage paid. Bolton into the pocket. Looks for O'Loughlin. Well, He's picked off by Hatchton. Uh, there's much an advantage there, was there? No one player has had more than five possessions in this quarter. Such has been the spread of the work. Effort on both teams. On. Ackland playing the percentages, keeping it close to the boundary, and that's good against the, the clearance specialists. They've done well there. Blake and Hutchton combine. Jason Blake, good long ball for Maguire. Breaking away from Hall, and McVeigh not able to contain him. Roberts Thompson edging Revolt out. Revolt finishing up with the ball. Fiora to ball, and the Saints with an open 50. But it just gets away from Milne. Interchange for the moment. Uh, Sydney's at 26 and St Kilda only 19. It might come down to fresh legs at the end of the game because it's extremely hard work in these conditions. Ball up after ball up, tackle after tackle. Might be uh, come down to some uh, fresh legs at the end of the game. Goddard. Had to be quick, wasn't it? Got Goods. The Got the handball away to Schneider. And his kick is poor. McGough couldn't take the mark. Strong challenge from Dempster. Saints get it back. Revolt. Hemmed in. Squaring kick into the corridor. O'Keefe. Head down. He's tackled. Was it ball? Oh, lucky. This is what it wasn't up by Smith down there. <laughs> Raise up, raise up, raise it's the dangerous up, part up. of the ground to have the ball in at the moment, isn't it? If they kick it in the corridor, you just see could have been a free kick and a chance to score. Wow. Swans emerge. Goods. Clever. McVeigh. Plenty of time for either team to score here. But the conditions are making it difficult. Kirk. Barry has had a busy night. Had his colours lowered so far by Fraser Gehrig. Swans can't afford to make a mistake. They're being careful bringing it out. But then they've got to try and hurt at the other end. A couple of minutes to do it. Goods. Calling short from Nick Davis, but uh, laterally has Kirk again. Just working it forward by degrees. Rain getting Zinzak. heavier too, Tim. You can hear it on the roof. Skillful. Threading of the ball around by the Swans. They're masters of this. McVeigh's in short. That's where Canelli goes. Gradually getting it there. They are masters of this, Tim. But is it the right way to go tonight in these conditions? I mean, yeah. as you see the turnover now, ball spills out of bounds there. They are the best at it. I mean, they can hold the ball off anyone because their skills are so good. But when the rain comes down, you just can't take those simple marks. And they're probably having, as we showed before, more turnovers and more clangers than, uh, than St Kilda. Well, they're strong on the clearances. Can they make something of this one? Kirk gives them a chance. Just couldn't load up on the left, which is his preferred. O'Loughlin, clever, very clever. McVeigh, that's better than clever. That is brilliant. And again, he went where the... And you've got to give McVeigh the benefit of the doubt there. He kicked that to the outside of the boot. Didn't spin properly, but that bit of play by Lachlan was just all class. And McVeigh, great finish. Important goal. Of 
Well, you won't see many better snaps this year than that one from Jared McVeigh. And he gets the uh, Swans to within 14 points, which was the margin at quarter time. Kick off the ground by Dal Santo to half forward. O'Keefe puts his body on the line. Well, he's been awarded a free kick there. It's a big last minute, isn't it? McVeigh. One uh, last chance here for Sydney before half time. He goes to Falstein. Got rid of his opponent. The boundary line beats him in the end. Same spot. 40 seconds or so to do something from the clearance. Two goals here could be heartbreaking, I reckon, after all the hard work the Saints have done. Yeah, spot on, Tim. And they're dangerous in this situation. St Kilda, they, uh, they set up well. They block for each other, so they're, they're a big chance here. The tap went to Schneider. To Jolly. Kicks it into the hot spot. Kirk's there. Saves O'Loughlin. Got it to Kirk. Kirk, the left foot snap is offline. Way offline. And all the Saints fans watching at home in Melbourne breathe a huge sigh of relief. As you can see how heavy that rain is getting. It is teaming down right now. Swans close enough, if good enough, in the last 30 seconds. Davis having a crack. Couldn't get his hands on it. Schwarz for the Saints. Harvey, goods came hard at him. Didn't have the ball. Threw him down the Free ground. kick to the Saints, and that should be enough Lewis. for them to Lewis. preserve their two and a bit kick lead at halfway, and they really deserve it. As the seconds tick down, and St Kilda go to half time with a 14 point. Very hard one advantage. Yeah, they have, and uh, they've really played the conditions a bit better. St Kilda are going into uh, into the first half, and I think they'll be wrapped with a 14-point lead. They, uh, I think they just uh, were, were a better side in the first half. They kicked the ball longer. Fraser Gary looks to me to be the person that can really turn this game on its ear. He's kicked uh, the three goals in the first half. He's got Leo Barry uh, in a little bit of strife. If they can get the ball longer direct, we'll have to come back at half time and change the way they play Sydney to get themselves back into it. Now uh, look to Paul Ruiz, he'll say, look, it's wet weather footy. We've got to play it differently now. Coming up shortly, we'll speak to injured St Kilda star Lenny Hayes. Well, I told you that the rain was going to get heavier and it did at half time. I'm not going to get rid of this umbrella because I will be drenched. It is going to make conditions appalling in the second half if they weren't already in the first half. That 14 point lead for St Kilda, it's going to be worth double that in the second half. Feel for you, Christy. We really do. Oh, I'm sure you do. <laughs> Aren't umbrellas banned at this well, ground? That's what I would have thought. Just an interesting uh, grab. Uh, uh, Tim just followed on from the first half. You look at the entries, uh, the spot up entry into 50. The Sydney Swans were 79% of the time trying to hit the lead, uh, as opposed to the bomb entry 40%. Whereas you looked at St Kilda, they just got the ball inside 50 in a hurry, and it worked for them. So the second half of entry to see whether Sydney turn around and use the same tactic. So 14 point buffer to the Saints as we start the third quarter. As Christy said, it's probably worth double that right now. And if ever going to just get it and kick it long, now's the time, Luke Darcy. <laughs> it's got to be now, surely. It is teaming down. Run inside. Find that handball. As it has been all week in Sydney. I can hear the sound of running water. <laughs> Tell you what, we need some in Melbourne too. It's been very dry. As the Saints work it inside 50. Gary. Very hard to see the players out there at the moment. Peckett has a fresh airy. Picked up by Bolton. Have those sound effect microphones. Barry, over to Kirk. Short kick, and it's Richards. So it's much easier watching it on TV than looking at the real stuff out there at the moment. It is very heavy. Kick to the wing. Back of the pack. Here's Maguire against Hall. Harvey, he's bowled over. Uh, Sydney will get to about 65 out from their goal. Let's just see if the old-fashioned talk's gone out of footy because uh, if Malcolm Blight was sitting up here, which he could well be, or if he was coaching, he'd be saying to his team, kick a torpedo down the line. It's all about uh, getting meterage. Be interested to see if any of the boys in, uh, adopt the talk. Revolt. A uh, loose man down the back again, and that's a good long ball. He went for territory there. Peckett and Del Santo. And uh, St Kilda... 
Off Revolt's boot to where Del Santo's taken it over have gained about 60 to 70 metres. Where it's almost harder, Tim, for modern day players to adapt and change. You're so heavily scrutinised on your effective possession, on how well you deliver the ball. You drilled and you train for that every week. You don't play in the rain that often these days. And I think it takes the players a fair while to, to adapt their game. It was a pretty promising stat for St Kilda fans. They haven't lost a quarter after half time in their last three matches. And they might be on the way here. Lee Fisher receiving from Harvey and delivering it lace out to Gary. 40 metres out. Well played by Fisher, the junior. And that was neat movement of the ball. They hit their targets there, but they had enough space to do it. Now, this for Gehrig's fourth. Not a good kick. And easy for the Swans. Jolly in the last line. Gehrig would be disappointed with that, but in these conditions, just about anything could happen. That one slid off the outside of the boot. Long kick in by Sydney. Safety first. Soccer off the ground by Harvey. Back inside St Kilda's attacking zone. Picked up by Blake. Quick hands to Del Santo. He's put it out of bounds. And we'll have a throw in. He liked these conditions. Yeah, he's done an outstanding job tonight, Brett Kirk. He's uh, really shut down Nick Del Santo most of the night. And uh, he'll revel in the rain. And, uh, Brett Kirk. Ricks against Jolly. Another soccer by Harvey. Spills to ball, throws it on the boot. Well, it's out on the full, but it was touched, says the umpire. So another throw in. So they can get one here, and it's out to 20 points. Oh, it's almost Long insurmountable if it stays like this, isn't yeah. it? Then again, that's what we thought when uh, Geelong looked to have that yeah. semi sewn up. There's Lee Fisher again. Williams paddling it literally. And uh, Jude Bolton finishing the job, but St Kilda with the ball at the right end of the ground, and it really is an epic journey from one end to the other in these conditions. It is belting down at the moment. If this was the test match, you could just about tear up your ticket for the five days. Hard to get it out of there. Roberts Thompson over it for Sydney. And uh, the boy, Robert has been what would have had him bowled out by now. <laughs> Play on. Free kick against Harvey. Canelli takes it and does go for territory. You'll be pleased to note. Luke, and it is very wet in the middle now. Free kick against Richards. Brett Voss to take it. And he has a man running wide for him in Blake. Nice bounce. And again, the Saints have a deep in attack. Boss pushes away the trainer, says, I'm all right. He is a tough customer. It's 40 metres out from the Saints' goal. Jolly got a fist to it. And straight back over the line. Good fun out there in the rain. I mean, you okay. don't get to play it that often these days. I think the players, the players actually enjoy it. Uh, have a look at the uh, graphic, Barry Hall versus Matt McGuire. Done a really good job, Matt McGuire. Barry Hall just for four disposals, but I reckon Matt McGuire would like to play him in these conditions uh, every time they is went head to head. Right, Take the ball this time. He's in the chest. In the chest, the okay, Gary. Nice there. So free kick for something that happened off the ball. It's going Jarrett Crouch's way. He's called to go. It wasn't given much time. To the wing. Wire flies. And that's almost a mark. Now to the toe poke. Back over the line it goes again. As so O'Loughlin gets up a little bit gingerly. I think he wanted deliberate, and there was a touch of that about it. But the umpire taking a sympathetic line with uh, Matt Maguire. Boy, not much depth in that throw in. And. Uh, it's not a very fluid game at the moment. Del Santo, good kick with the non-preferred foot. And is it a mark? Yes, it is. Sam Fisher can land this in the scoring zone. Gehrig, one out, and he didn't quite hang on. 
Still a chance, Voss. Blake. Swings. Well, it is a push in the back. Hit him in the back of the head. Fell into his back. The player coming over the top. Tried desperately to avoid getting into his back. It's an interesting one. It was Barry who actually tries to dive over the top of him, but just could not avoid landing on him. Well, his free kick count this year is not good, Leo Barry. He's ranked three in frees against this year. He's up to 20. Jason Blake, great opportunity to really land a big blow, and he does. And the margin is out to 20. And Leo Barry's having a horror. Yeah, he is, and uh, look, the free kick's probably there. Tried his best to avoid him in the end, didn't he? But I suppose the high contact, they've got to pay it. But uh, just a uh, dangerous part of the ground to kick the ball into. I know that Fraser Gerrard's almost given up leading. He just said, kick the ball in my head. And uh, you get three kicks when it's in a dangerous spot, you kick goals. Well, well done to the Saints. They're in front by 20 in these conditions. It's worth more than that. The Swans are now officially in trouble. Look at the water in the centre square. Kirk at the bottom of it. High tackle. And it's got the free kick. Not often in the modern game you see these type of conditions. Davis. Now what's happening here? Off the ball. Brendan, take a kick. Watch it off the ball. Free kick off the deal side. It's a turnover. Going back to the Saints, and it's going to be taken by Mark the Goddard. I think it was against Darren Jolly. I think he might have just uh, given him one on the way past and uh, a bit of high contact and a free kick, but an important one because uh, Sydney were about to attack inside 50. Now goes back to the line. And they really have to make every post a winner. They've probably got to pin their hopes on scoring four goals and making sure that the Saints don't kick another. Scoring four themselves is uh, going to be no easy task. Roberts Thompson from halfback giving it everything and gaining 40 metres. Harvey intercepting on Kirk. So a throw in on the wing. And as he so often does, Robert Harvey looking at the very brink of exhaustion. And often it's when he rises a notch. Just have a look at the inside 50s there for the quarter. It's killed a 6 to 1. Uh, in the second half, and you saw the disposal stats before. They've, uh, despite the conditions, they're dominating this uh, this third quarter. Well, it's one of those old-fashioned occasions when the team that uh, wants it the most is prevailing, and that team is St Kilda. Lee Fisher keeping it alive, but uh, O'Keefe covers for Sydney. Not much good though, and Montagna marks it, and the Saints will press again and perhaps add to their superiority on entries to the 50 in this term in fact they do Gehrig waiting back for that Brett Voss clever McGough just not taking it with his normally webbed hands and he gives away a free kick Canelli got nothing to kick to though he's forced to double back oh dangerously the goods who was good enough to get out of trouble well played to Davis throws it on the left to the wing St Kilda have the numbers, advantage paid, ball, inside 50 to Harvey. But it's a difficult kick now with the heavy conditions. And he's been pretty good in front of goals this year, Robert Harvey, six goals, two. I think he wants to pass off, just look at his body language with a heavy ball. I think he doesn't think he can make the distance. And he looks for the goal, but couldn't find it. He's chipping in to cut that off his curve. So 20 points. Swan's in trouble as we near the halfway mark of the third quarter. Low kick from Davis. Pretty good. Covered some ground. Richards. McVeigh has it swept away from him by Del Santo. Umpire letting it go. Richards back for another bite. But collection of the footy is uh, pretty difficult. Oh, no. Chambers taking Harvey over. Now, a moment ago, we saw that kick off the ball. Apparently against Darren Jolly. Let's have a look. Oh, shades of 
Not quite the intensity, not quite the impact of last year's preliminary final, but that's what it was for. Roberts Thompson, Swans into the 50. Maguire and Hall. Clever kick by Schneider, was it? It was. He has conjured one from nowhere. As he was. <laughs> Clever play, Snyder, isn't he? I mean, it's just smart enough to realise that uh, you had to keep it low and slide. All intent there. There wasn't any uh, any form of luck at all. And that might be one avenue to go. Uh, they're going to travel a lot further along the ground than in the air at the moment. And uh, smart bit of play. Adam Schneider has made something out of absolutely nothing. And it's back to 14, the difference, which was the margin at quarter time and the margin at half time. Clown, not the same, clown! McGough in there. Clear. Quick kick out by Ball to set a half forward. Bolton for Sydney. Craig to half forward. Sliding over as O'Lockham. Knocked forward. Picked up by Revox. And the kick went slightly backwards, but it wasn't intentional. And we'll have a throw at about 45 out from Sydney's goal. The crowd was up for that one. They were filled with anticipation as that went slewing to the boundary. Throw in. And there is Fisher. All spills free. Kick to the wing by St Kilda. And that'll be a throw in. Right in. Clear. So smack bay on centre wing. There the matchups at the moment. In front is Ackland, the double fist back over the line for yet another throw in. This 15 one's... touches to Kirk for Sydney. Craig Bolt has got 13, while for the Saints, 14 to Ball, 13 to Revolt. Sorry, Luke. To score, you really got to take a risk in these conditions. You almost got to hit it back into the corridor and understand how hard it is to pick up for either side and get it back up the centre of the ground. 50s open as Harvey blazes. Gehrig. Sam Fisher is only hope, but Swans hold up. O'Keefe, Crouch, and now Buchanan. And the counter attacks on. Craig Bolton gives it back to Buchanan. Kirk, needing to be sure, was thrown when he didn't have it, surely. No free kick, Luke Ball. Gehrig, with one hand, was no hope, but Montagna might be. How will it slide? In precisely the right spot, the Saints have another. Was it a free kick? Probably these conditions, you let it go, don't you? So the quick reply again from the Saints through Montagna. It's back out to 20. Well past the halfway mark. The third quarter now. Little soccer off the ground. Back to the wing for St Kilda. Picked up by Fisher. Just throws it on the boot. Barry one out with Gary. Well played, Leo Barry. Good use of the body there. Craig Bol uh, Jude Bolton fed it out. Now McVeigh. who oh, he's unloaded by Baker as he kicked. It's on the full. Very difficult to see the players out on the ground. The pitcher from the television really doesn't tell the story. It is so heavy out there. Revolt. Back inside 50. Goods. And they'll have a throw in. You see Kilda's forward pocket. Just extraordinary conditions, aren't they? I mean, the rain has just not stopped. And you're right, the picture doesn't quite describe how heavy it is out here. I mean, just can't imagine anyone taking a contested mark or even a chess mark at the moment. It's so slippery and so wet. Incredible conditions. Jude Bolton just banging it forward. Baker. That was high. Yes, was tagged high and it's his ball. 
Great night to get a free kick tonight. And the umpires, they, they just want to pay one to, to break up the play almost. They're all there. But uh, if you ever want to get in and win the ball, you're going to win a free kick tonight. St Kilda continuing to uh, hold the ball in their attacking half. Swan scoring chances really coming in bits and pieces. Falstyke out on the full again. It'll be St Kilda's ball once more. They are hardy souls sitting out in the elements tonight. All of them in their ponchos, I would imagine. There's a bloke with a St Kilda scarf and uh, not wearing any wet weather gear. He's got the right idea. Saints by 20. Good spot for Baker's kick. Ackland up. Took one like that in the back half in the first quarter. O'Keefe become a defender now. Free kick to Bolt. But it is largely defence for the Swans. Hunched and in the way of that one. And the Saints will rebound again. They've done a terrific job, St Kilda, keeping it in their attacking half. In it goes inside 50 again, but on this occasion it's all Sydney and Craig Bolton. Takes the uncontested mark. He's had a good game. 15th disposal, five marks. Can't get it much past the ring at the moment, and there we go again. Yeah. McGuire playing, playing in front of Barry Hall. And you just see Barry slicing his back. <laughs> and Maguire standing chest to chest. Thank you very much. Just took it away from him. Here he is. He'd be well pleased with his efforts He's so done far. really well. As he goes in the middle, it's a clever kick. Fisher broke the tackle. It's a long ball. Leo Barry's got a mark, and he does. Right idea though, Luke. Yeah, courageous play and back up the corridor and then just a punt kick. Unfortunately, Fraser is led when he maybe should have stayed at home, but that, uh, that's got to be the way to score tonight. Such a wide ground, the SCG, pretty much circular, and it's a long way home around the boundary. Kirk brings it back in to Buchanan, who sees an opening. Can't afford to get too excited and run too far. He did that well. I love them. Swans have to kick a couple of goals before three-quarter time, you would think. Back out to the boundary. Goods. Confident sidestep around Blake. Good long kick, but the Saints getting back. Well played by Ackland. Ooh. Davis hit the fence hard. Scoring chance for Sydney. Schneider's kicked their only goal of the corner. The Ruckman are both on their backs. Ball sliding off Revolt's fist, but uh, St Kilda with numbers and with intensity around the ball. And Revolt gains 50 metres. And Sam Fisher another 20. Jude Bolton, though, 150 game in a night, becoming a life member of the Swans. Crouch, but Harvey blocking it. Fisher again. Kirk under it. Lee Fisher's got him, so it's a ball up. Just a surge along the ground almost looks like the most dangerous play at the moment, doesn't it? When you try and handle an overused possession, uh, as you look at the inside 50, St Kilda have dominated this circle. Extraordinary stat. Just a surge, and the hitting, the hitting the ball in your direction seems the most effective play at the moment. Free kick to Jude Bolton. He's about 75 out from goal. Just got to get it moving quickly. They continue to play the possession game. A short pass to Fosdyke. Then kicks into the pocket. And the style of play is just letting them down right now. Sydney. Goddard cuts it off. Long ball of the wing. And they all miss it in the end. Canelli gets back. Now, yeah, what's he got on offer? Little handball over to Dempster, over to Fosdyke. He goes to short option to half forward and finds O'Loughlin, but he spills the beans. Kirk did well to get it back to O'Loughlin. One over the top to Canelli, but he runs out of space. Another throw in. 
Just worth having a look at this. It takes a while, but uh, just trying to show the difference between the two sides. You have a look at Sydney here. They run the ball out of defence, overuse the handball to Kirk, turn the ball over, whereas St Kilda, when they get the ball, look at that. It's just a quick kick forward, nothing pretty about it. Spill the ball forward and something happens. And it's just why St Kilda are so much more effective at the moment. They're just surging the ball forward, a lot more dangerous, and uh, Sydney just continue with this chip. Chip, slow, slow side uh, play at the ball at the moment. It's just Dan not working for him. Dangerous kick by Fosdyke. Slid off the side of the boot. Well played, Stephen Milne. Now Schwarz. And he'll see it safely over the line. For a throw in on centre wing. 20 points. Well, it's just under five minutes to go of actual game time in the third term. Just looking at the uh, quarter by quarters in that semi final last year. Sydney and Geelong. Geelong led by 17 points at the last change. Right now, Sydney trail by 20. The scores that night was 6-11 to 3-12. Here it is pretty similar. 7-5, which is exactly the same as 6-11, to 4-3, which isn't much different to 3-12. Buchanan. Nothing there for Sydney. Voss. Sturdy type, Maguire has been outstanding. And that's a good result. Sam Fisher. Not many inside the 50. St Kilda moving it crisply here. Fiora back to Blake. Fiora might have been the option, although Blake to Milne. This is what his job is. Just couldn't get enough onto it. Gehrig, 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 Gehrig. Touch ball. Jim Milne should have had a shot first time round, I reckon, rather than trying to balk and kick around the corner. Gee, well done by Leo Barry. Their banner pre-match wished the Socceroos well. <laughs> a lucky let off there for Sydney. But the Saints just playing the smarter, went where the footballers Luke Darcy has alluded to for the last hour. St Kilda get it back again. And up and under, ball takes the mark. No, says the umpire. Quick kick out of the pack by Canelli. Fisher overran it. Williams can't pick it up. Now Schneider knocks it forward towards Hall. He's hit high. Umpire let it go. Graham's in there. Now Fisher. Goddard comes in to the picture. And they're coming out. Oh, it is in the end. It's forced out the back. Dempster hunched a little soccer off the ground. Williams, hunched and desperate again. Williams locks him up. Umpire will pay the free kick to Sydney. Advantage paid. And Lachlan short to Hall. Keep uh, having on the corners. I know Barry Hall's got the ball in his possession at the moment, but it's another short chip onto the boundary line. Very tough shot at goal. Rather than just the direct kick to the goal square, not pretty contest happens you might get a free kick or a shot at goal this is Hall's first disposal in 31 minutes can he see the goals oh it's a difficult kick it's across the face and it is a rush behind he's been in outstanding form but tonight has been very well contained by a man on a mission Del Santo not quite hitting the target Voss Oh, that's a little dangerous. Lee Fisher. The umpires have exercise tolerance on that one tonight. Almost out on the full off the shin. Swans coming late in the last two minutes. Goal would make it pretty interesting. Williams. Uh, he needs to get it out. He gets a free kick for a push in the back. Now we sit for the saddle on him. Too far out to score the saddle on him. <laughs> A wet track. Williams for Hall and O'Loughlin. Saints just always seem to have it pretty well covered. There'll be a ball up. Well, Sydney, they're the best marking side inside 50 in the competition. They've only taken four marks inside 50 for the night, and St Kilda have taken eight. Jolly the tap. Dangerous feed out. Quick kick. It's a goal to Schneider. He's second for the corner. Oh, what a goal. Well, that is a big kick just before three-quarter time. 
Schneider somehow got boot to ball. And he's manufactured two amazing goals. And that puts Sydney back in the game. Schneider for the second time this quarter has made something out of nothing and that gives Sydney a sniff. Is that Nick Davis wearing an Adam Schneider disguise? <laughs> the margin 14 in the last minute of the third term. That goal, a great result for the Swans. Fosdyke working and working and working it forward. And they're a chance now. That ought to be advantage really because the meters are on the well. It's probably a better result to bring it back in the end. And that's just completely unavoidable, isn't it? That just total accident. It's a bit of a tough call for the umpires as to whether possession or, or territory is more advantageous. O'Keefe, good kick, almost unmarkable. Jolly, good smother. Schneider's lurking again. Montagna, Kirk, Williams, will it curl? Paul is there, but so is Maguire. The great margin effort is 13. By, sorry, Tim, great effort by Paul Williams to get some curl on the ball in the wet. It was uh, an outstanding. It would have been an incredible goal if he had kicked it. Quick kick out by the Saints is marked by Paul, and he's just going to slow things down. So far, Sydney have won this quarter by a point. Goods. Fisher stood up, got the handball out. Canelli at half back, all by himself. A low sizzle to half forward, and that is it. So the Saints by 13 points. We're set for a fascinating last quarter. And that goal to Schneider just before the last change has made things interesting. Got Sydney back into it, really. Well, it really has caught us. And I think Sydney would be uh, incredibly happy to have them won that quarter by a point. St Kilda dominated inside 50s, dominated possession. 18 they to 8, Luke. 18 to 8. They just outsmarted them. But for, for Sydney to kick that goal was a great effort. Gives them a chance. Conditions at the SCG tonight, and the Saints have their noses in front of the final change by 13 points. Gehring's got three for St Kilda, and Schneider two for Sydney in that third quarter. As you have a look at the Ford 50s for this match, Luke. Yeah, and also uh, just this stat we've been talking about all night, and it's one I haven't ever ever seen before. But spot up entry for Sydney, 63% of the time they're trying to hit the target versus 20% bombing it in. The other way around, it's only 40% for St Kilda. And they're bombing it 30% of the time. And with these conditions, the screen isn't showing just how hard the rains come down all night, and the bomb kick forward just seems to be the most dangerous option for the night. Quickly, the key legs, Canelli, Goods have uh, played every minute of this game for uh, Sydney as we start the final turn it is the Saints by 13 they lead by 14 at quarter time by 14 at half time but that goal from Schneider late in that third quarter has given them a chance but the Saints go to attack Harvey runs to 35 Robert Harvey has kicked the points oh gee that would have been big play in this last turn early ran clear just couldn't quite finish off. So 14 points now, the margin in favour of St Kilda. And they're a chance again. Terrific smother, though. O'Keefe and Kirk working hard, but the Saints fight back. Revolt. Kick going nowhere. Canelli. Pickett. Roberts Thompson. Swans have to be really tight here. Revolt again. It might get locked up here. Sam Fisher. Still alive. Blake. Ball. Oh, brilliantly regained his feet. Now Gary and Barry. And Barry is able to knock it clear for a throw in. The Saints have won the last quarter in their last seven matches. They have, and uh, they've got uh, some of their players with the key legs. Their Luke Ball's played 81 of 86 minutes, uh, 41 interchanges to Sydney and 32 to St Kilda at this stage. So uh, fresh legs could be a big factor at the end of this game. Saints have come out hungry in this last turn. They know one goal here will make it just about impossible for Sydney. Ball, short and sideways, no mark. 
Dempster releases the football. Buchanan's in there. Fisher tackled by Dempster. O'Loughlin into the picture. Left foot kick. Went straight to Hudson. Hudson's run down. Harvey releases the football. In there is Fisher again. He's tackled by Fosdyke. Ball's still alive. Voss kicks it inside 50. Goods in front. Can't take the mark. Blake kept his feet. Goods did well. Great second effort to knock the ball out of Blake's hands. And we will have a bounce. 45 out. You almost feel a security to Interesting at three-quarter time. Look at this animated discussion, boys, with uh, Thomas and Revolt. Nice to it. meet him from Grant Thomas. Bit of a <laughs> smile as he was obviously making a point very firmly and effectively. Buchanan clearing, but Revolt finding renewed effort here early in the last quarter. Has been everywhere the ball's landed, if that's possible. Got a dropping a sitter. But working it on. Blake. Good centre. And Montagna gaining a few metres. Ricks swamped, literally. Crouch. Here's Maguire leading Hall to it. Placing it wide. The G train on slippery tracks. Harvey taking it over. There hasn't been a deliberate out paid tonight, and I reckon that's pretty intelligent, sensible umpiring. It's like Kirk's flying Harvey around for the last quarter. He hasn't had a huge impact on the game, Harvey, but you know how dangerous he can be. There is Kirk to Buchanan. Right foot kick. Revol just couldn't quite hang on to it. Hall, great smother by Voss. Maguire. Roberts Thompson at the bottom of all that. Now it's out. Dempster. Quick kick. Hudson and Goods. Hudson fed it out to Revolt. Throws the ball on the boot. And we'll have a throw in. He is almost literally everywhere the ball lands oh, at the moment. Oh, Gee, oh. Luke Ball. Oh, he's caught some nasty head high tackles oh. in his time, and he is in a bad way. Oh dear, we hate to see this. And they're calling for a stretch oh, straight stop away. Play. Stopping play. Oh, Luke Ball, he's had quite a couple, uh, quite a few nasty head high injuries, and this looks interesting. That's the worrying. Uh, what the Sydney doctor had got out to him first, and the stretcher was called straight away, which was. And this is the incident. Wall. Oh, oh, he's caught an no. elbow from Maguire to the left cheekbone. And in these sort of conditions, it can just happen like that. Oh. For a young man, he's had more than his fair share of um, head injuries, hasn't he? He's just so courageous, isn't he, Luke Ball? In these conditions, he's never going to deviate uh, from putting his head over the ball. And uh, oh, I think there was a run of about eight weeks last year. He came off with his head bandaged every week. And uh, well, it didn't look great, but uh, he's a tough character. And you expect him um, to be up and uh, up and about and be OK. But uh, nasty not. Let's have a look at the matchups while we wait for, unfortunately, Luke Ball to be taken off on a stretcher. And we're starting with St Kilda's forward line. Well, the big one is still Fraser, isn't it? He's uh, kicked uh, the, the uh, three goals. Kicked three goals, and uh, obviously, you know, looked dangerous on Leo Barry. So he's probably the most important player still on the ground at the moment, I think. Fraser Garrick in the midfield. It's Jude Bolton on Harvey at the moment. Baker's got to be careful on Schneider. Kirk and Ball, obviously, Ball is going off now. Rick's the first up game has done a good job. Quarters, isn't he? He hasn't looked out of place at all, even though he's 25 years of age. He's come in, and uh, I think he's done a pretty good job tonight. Ball out at centre-half forward at the moment. Maguire has done a terrific job on him. Davis lurking at half forward. This is still a hot, big hole up here with Luke Ball copping uh, some friendly fire from Matt Maguire. An elbow to the face. The card comes out. And there it is. And it just uh, makes you feel sick. So much said about some pictures of Ball struggling at the end of a match recently on a Friday night. He has taken a lot of punishment and uh, has played with injuries that might stop others. And he is a young player that you really feel doesn't deserve this sort of stroke of bad luck. Fresh legs for the Swans. Probably Buchanan's the most important one there. 
can see all the players uh, just wanting to keep keep warm. We know how cold it is and how much it's rained tonight, and uh, a long delay. Look at the fresh legs also for uh, St Kilda. Uh, Ackland's been rotated off the ground. Fiora is someone that can provide a bit of run, and Mark McGough interestingly hasn't played enormous amounts of minutes for someone who, who uh, thrives in the wet conditions. But uh... so just a terrible sight here with the captain of St Kilda, Luke Ball, being taken off on a stretcher. Yeah, we said we. He said a couple of times he has received more than his fair share of nasty injuries in his short career. And I think we're all thinking the same thing. How much longer can a young player go and take this sort of punishment? He could not possibly do this through a long career, you yeah. wouldn't think. Yeah, I, I think you're, you're right, Tim. He's just that sort of player that I, I think because of the way he plays the game, he's just so courageous and he, he refused to deviate. And I think that's what his coach expects. And, uh, you know, he just hope he's just had his fair share of bad luck. I mean, that... It was nothing but rotten bad luck and uh, you know we know how courageous he is he was moving around and I you know you just hope he, uh, he comes out of this okay which I'm sure he will so worrying signs here we'll get Christy Malthouse uh, right onto the situation and try and give you a report as soon as we find some information on loop ball Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, you know, I really feel that momentum was with St Kilda going into this uh, into this period again. Now, long break. It's given the uh, the Swans players a bit of a chance to regroup. Right, they and, dominated uh, the first four or five minutes, didn't they? So something like this can really, uh, especially when it is your teammate that goes down. I know that the St Kilda players would all be, you know, and and the Swans players, but they'd all be feeling for Luke Ball right now. And uh, you know, sometimes something like this can actually just change the momentum of the game. Obviously, our main worries with Luke Ball, but. You see Robert Harvey there. Uh, they would be shaking their heads. I mean, they've seen Kaczynski go down uh, with a shocking injury. Uh, I mean, there's been bad Lenny luck right throughout. Lenny Hayes, Hayes of course, course we time. spoke to. And, uh... Yes, they must be feeling just about jinxed. As it looks as though Luke Ball won't be playing footy for a little while. The extent of the in injury obviously not clear. Let's go down to Christy Malthouse. Thank you. Well, they're just taking Luke Ball down to the change rooms now. As you said, he really does look to be in a bad way. Uh, they've got oxygen on him at the moment, and look, they'd just be worried about the pain, taking him down, checking him out. I would imagine he would be put straight into an ambulance and taken to a hospital for, for x-rays if it is his cheekbone. Um, I will head over there and see what I can find out. Yeah, it's always a worrying sign when a player is administered oxygen out on the ground. That is a very rare sight, isn't it? Maybe it's got something to do with the pain killer uh, procedure. Mm. So we'll keep you informed with the condition of Luke Ball as this game starts. Where all of a sudden, just the uh, the result sort of pales into insignificance, doesn't it, when you see something like that? Yeah, absolutely. And you obviously feel for uh, for Luke's fan. I'm sure that the, the medicos have been touching them very quickly. But uh, yeah, our thoughts are with his family, obviously. Swans gain some ground. Good knock by Jolly. But Voss holds up for St Kilda and uh, bangs it for giving Montagna a chance. Got Crouch on the hop here. Gary, can he do something here? What a battle this is. Yes, he can. He missed. He missed it. Oh, no. He did all the hard work. The agony is almost unbearable. Finally, it was there for the taking. And with the non-preferred foot, he missed it. You just got to remember just how important this game is for St Kilda and uh, Fraser he had the opportunity so strong in the body and just couldn't believe he missed from that distance. Craig Bolton goes as far as he can, gets it to half back. Kirk to half forward. Revolt overruns it. Great pick up by Ablett. Just throws it onto the boot. Maguire takes a good mark, a good solid mark. Deep in defence. Now, good hard running by Schwarz here. He's created an option and he's got about 40 metres on his nearest opponent. So he can run and carry. Bravely has a bounce. Bravely has two. <laughs> so Schwarz drives it to Gary and it's a beautiful kick. Well played by Troy Schwarz. Fortune favours the brave. Gary's got it. 60 from goal. Loads up. It's a thumping torpedo right into the goal square. And the Swans are forced to concede it behind. 
Haven't seen the torpedo much tonight, and it's just interesting to see how well it carries. I mean, the drop punt's going 40 metres max, and Fraser's launched the uh, 50 metre torp with great effect. Swans being forced again to defend. They have been fighting on the ropes virtually all night. Williams to Barry. And he goes for some territory. Schneider just uh, off the backhand, sliding it on. Lee Fisher, Voss, been steady. Goddard. Jude Bolton getting under it, landing it with nobody much. Even Revolt not able to take the chess mark there. Maguire, he has really been terrific. Voss again. And that's a canny little kick, just curling around. Oh, he's paid it. Oh, my golly. That umpire Schmidt. That's a big call, bearing in mind that none had been paid tonight, and that covered a lot of ground. Did he put that spin on it deliberately? I suppose I called it canny, so maybe he did. Good mark, Lee Fisher. Courageous mark, though, wasn't it? Uh, back with the flight. St Kilda trying to fight its way back into the top eight. It's lost its skipper. We'll bring you a report on Luke Ball's condition shortly. St Kilda must win to regain the position after Richmond pinched it from them this afternoon. Shaw's kick finds Revolt. The Swans need three goals. Revolt to Gehrig against Barry. The big body of the G train in front, but he couldn't mark. Buchanan. Quick kick to the wing. No mark, Schwarz. Harvey, beautiful handball to Revolt. Back to Maguire. Gets past Hall. Maguire bangs it long. Back to the 50. Peckett worked his way to the front. Couldn't hang on to it. Now it goes inside 50 for the Saints. Canelli is the only man there. And the Swan is off and running. Handballs to Kirk. Dangerous play in these conditions, but it's come off. It's Canelli. Kicks it inside 50. Davis has got to beat three in cards. We'll have a throw in, 45 out from Sydney's goal. Brent Voss hurt. Head, as he came, as courageously as he always does, into the path of Nick Davis. Might have copped a knee. There's that deliberate from Voss a minute earlier. Now, a height contact and a free kick Sydney's way. So the Swans will press here. St Kilda, a man down in defence. Voss incapacitated for the moment. Probably got to get him off. And the umpire's going to hold it up. Yep, good umpiring. Uh, Voss, looks like he copped a, hold it. A, a hit to the nose. Yeah, he's got blood too. Yeah. yeah coming out of the nose, so he's going to have to go off. Well, I guess it just adds to the incentive of the Saints will feel. It's a bit of a cliche to say win it for the injured players, but they've made enormous sacrifices tonight, and that won't have escaped their teammates. Oh, certainly, Tim. They've put their body on the line, and I, I know that's uh, what the Kilda side prides themselves on doing, is being uh, tough and courageous. And uh, you know, right from the start tonight, they've certainly done that, and unfortunately, it looks like Brett Voss is going off, and uh, we all saw Luke Ball before, so the stakes are high. It's a huge win for St Kilda. Five and five, they can win this. They're, uh, they're right back in the hunt. They are two of their very bravest, Luke Ball and uh, Brett Voss. Now, is that 15? It's not. Nick Davis has got to go. He gives it back to Schneider, who kicked those two miraculous goals in the third quarter. This is beyond him. And it's a minor score. The margin is 15 points. Well, this will be a famous win for St Kilda if he can hang on. To reach the halfway mark of the year. Goods puts it inside 50. Schwartz has had a good last quarter. Williams disposes of him. Fiora just on for Voss. Can't control. Picked up by Williams. Over to O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin, the right foot snap is a point. Nearing the halfway mark of the final turn. The margin is 14 points. Well, even a couple more behinds, and it's back to two kicks, and from there, well, anything could happen. The Saints now might be feeling the pressure. They're two men down. They have come so far. Fiora gives to Graham. 12 minutes left. We're a long way from home. They haven't quite reached the top of the straight in the Melbourne Cup. On a very heavy track, and the front runner 
is hanging on grimly. And a report on Luke Ball. We still haven't got a con uh, his condition yet, but he's on the way to hospital in an ambulance. And uh, Christy Mulhouse will report to us as soon as she finds out some information. Peckett puts it out in front of the web-footed one, Mark McGough. Now, how's that? How's that, Mr. Umpire? That's oh, his name. It. Mark Nellis. Well, perhaps feeling now we've got to be consistent. One's been paid, and that probably looked worse. So it's Ryan O'Keefe's ball at halfback. Kicks to the wing. Hall's got to beat two. Baker, Schneider. Schneider gathers. Runs to 70. It's a long ball. Davis at the back of the pack. But a beautiful mark oh, taken there by Davis. Lee Fisher. Oh, he saved the day. Just read it that little bit better. A one grab mark in your hands, if you don't mind, in the last line of defence. Just incredible. Knocked over the line, or is it? By uh, Roberts Thompson. No, and that's a throw from Reba. No advantage. No He's coming back. He might have been scared off Nick Revolt by the deliberate out of bounds and had to keep it back in, but ended up giving away a free kick anyway. Strange things can happen. Oh. It's a dramatic night at the SCG. As we uh, see Adam Schneider with the football. Too far oh. as he's going to take on Revolt. As you kick, Little second. kick. Hall couldn't get there. Spills to Roberts Thompson. Stripped of the football. Hall gets tackled. We will have a bounce. 25 out from Sydney's goal. Been the Masters in recent times, Sydney, in these close situations, haven't they? Uh, the prelim final or the, the final up here last year and last week against the Kangaroos, they probably got out of jail as well. Hall, five kicks, two marks for the night. Maguire, 14 possessions, clearly is master. Buchanan works it clear. Maguire controls Hall again. Crouch, though, to Jude Bolton. Miscued the kick. Nick Davis lurking dangerously. Saints have it. Lee Fisher. That's... Well, he was searching for the line. He didn't quite find it. Del Santo now. Gains some metres, but not the right result. Roberts Thompson. Kirk. A left footer. Goes for it. Gets it. Swans are coming. You cannot count this mob out. Uh, you certainly can't, Tim. They just keep coming and coming. The Swans have got incredible uh, faith in their own ability. Keep persevering. They haven't played well. They haven't handled the conditions well. And look, with uh, 20 minutes gone in the last quarter, they're still in a great position to win the game. Crowd getting behind the Swans as Kirk revs up his teammates. St Kilda hanging on here. A spot on the eight up for grabs. Sydney work it forward through Bolton. Williams is there. Now picked up by O'Keefe. Into the pocket, Maguire. Solid. Has beaten Barry Hall tonight. Kicks to McGough. Almost on the second bite. Fisher takes it over the line. That's a throw in. Oh, it's pinned in. That is a very, very hard call. Umpire Schmidt has penalised for holding the ball. Fisher. So Bolton puts it into the pocket. O'Loughlin flies, no mark. Over it goes. Yeah. Is that red hot? Oh, that again was if just we, uh, red hot, to say the least. Isn't the ball out of bounds? Well, oh, maybe. That's out of bounds. Yeah. It's all happening. Throw it in the pocket. Chambers is on. Tap, though, went to Montagna. Kicks it to halfback. Goods will get there first. Can he control it? Keeps it alive. Fisher. Sam. Graham's there for the Saints. And we'll have a throw in. Past the halfway mark of the last quarter. It's St Kilda hanging on here. The grim death. They lead by eight. And the resemblance to that semi-final last year is just growing eerie. It might be a final for the Saints, but it is almost knockout time. It's their ball, Nick Del Santo. Nine minutes just under to go. Saints hang on by eight points, but for virtually the first time tonight, they are now the hunted. Harvey keeps it wide. And they can't ping anybody for that. 
Brett Voss comes back. He is one gutsy player. Great stuff. Clearance is so important now, and the Swans are outstanding at them, but McGough works this away. Harvey gains a few metres. O'Keefe will be first there. Garrick's coming. Barry, does he keep it alive? Yes, he does. Tremendous stuff. Kerr can kick the last goal for McVeigh, but difficult to mark that. He makes sure that Del Santo's not going to escape with it. There's no doubt the Swans players would know that they've been out of winning these situations before, and you get confidence out of that when you're a side that uh, performs under pressure and wins tight ones, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Ackland. Oh, that's a free kick. Surely to the St Kilda player. Yes, it is. Against Chambers. Fraser screaming for the ball. Get it in long, and he does. He does just that. Gehrig one out with Barry. No mark. No. Okay. Go safety first. Cheap. He needed to get it right because if he'd miscued that slippery ball and put it out, it was a Sydney free kick. Uh, some killer free kick. Yeah. Now there's a 50 yeah. metre penalty. Fucking knee before Steve about swearing at me. That's it. There I'm you go. It. Keep it clean. Goods to Kirk. And what a warrior is Brett Kirk. Just magnificent for Sydney. That was barely 15, but adjudged enough. And Leo Barry. The hero of the grand final. Bangs it long. Can Hall do something? Doesn't try and get into that contest. Peckett clears for the Saints. Big ball here. Kirk again. Sam Fisher's got him. And O'Keefe sees it out to the line. Still time. Seven and a half. Plenty of time to go. It's a tentative, indecisive Barry Hall now. He has been well and truly collared tonight. I think Harvey's hurt his ankle too. Doesn't look too serious, Tim, but he's feeling the pinch at the moment. Throw in. Bolton. Campbell missed the target. Buchanan recovers nicely. Inside 50. Hall in front. Cut mark. Davis desperate. Maguire got the handball out to Goddard. Who again just throws it on the boot to the wing. Ackland against Jolly. Craig Bolton. Voss. Oh, well done by Voss. Gonna throw in centre wing. Seven minutes to go. St Kilda in ninth spot on the ladder, trying to win back a place in the top eight and hang on to the top four. Lead by nine. Sydney working to get inside 50. Roberts Thompson against Revolt. Hall. No. Maguire comes out to Davis. Soccer off the ground and bouncing it misses to the right and through for a point. Saw that step before. Barry Hall's only had five disposals for the night and uh, none in the last 27 minutes. But Nick Davis, he's just the person that can... We've seen him do it before. He's so dangerous in this situation. And the pressure just feels like it's going back on us at Kilda now, Tim. It's been a lot of rain, but no lightning yet. Is it about to strike twice? <laughs> Got out a long ball. But Kirk is on the end of it. Could have snuck around onto the left there and bombed, but he decided to wait for something that looked promising. Good placement. Hall not in the hunt there. Maguire out positioned him yet again. Voss. O'Keefe is in there. Hall is in there, but so is Del Santo. That's out on the full. Off Dempster's boot. It's St Kilda's ball. Hutchton to take it. In fact, it's paid for a, an infringement other than the deliberate out. Dal Sando deep in the back pocket. Kicks in the direction of Fiora. Kirk in front. He can't mark. Crouch over the top of it. Now Buchanan. Back inside 50 go the Swans. Craig Bolton. Jude Bolton's there. Keeps it alive. Free kick for two high. That's going to Jude Bolton. Well, it goes dangerously to the pocket to Hall. Throw in. Just saw Jude Bolton after he kicked that point into himself. Kick it long to the square, and, and that's exactly what he's got to do because there's a chance of a free kick. All yep. the pressure goes back onto the defenders. They've got to stop chipping these short balls. Get them in long. Something will happen. The clearance kings 
It's very crowded. Here's Nick Davis bearing down Del Santo, reading his every move by the look of it. Cutting him off at the pass. Could he do it again? It is within a breath of goal. Goddard up. Adam Goods. Jude Bolton in his 150th. Hall is there. Goddard. Maguire. What a night it's been for him. And he gains good ground and Milne arrives in the back half having to try and hold the Swans march up and he does it very well and worked that almost backwards off the outside of his boot. And now Montagna goes forward. Milne appearing for a, appealing for a free kick. Swans with numbers. Milne like a man possessed holding up Leo Barry. Great play, Stephen Mill, wasn't it? He won that ball in a contest, turned around, smart kick on the outside, and there he is, just yapping off as he always does, <laughs> Stephen Mill, uh, at any stage of the game, but great second effort from him there. Knocked forward by Barry. Spills to Buchanan. Long ball. O'Rockham's in front, takes the mark. Too far out to score. Just kicks it hurriedly. Poor option in the end. And Revolt lurking in the back pocket. Will mop up for St Kilda. Hits a panic there from the Swans. Tell you what, Maguire has done a sensational job on Hall. Just five disposals for Barry Hall. Incredible. The Saints playing for their spot in the eight, playing to stay within touch of the top four. The next two or three minutes to determine it. Crouch escaping off Kirk's hand pass. This is dangerous for St Kilda. Davis is there. Graham, Revolt, they needed to be sure there. They were. Revolt sees space and he goes for it. The race is on. The Olympic 100 metres. O'Keefe, clever. Well held up by Sam Fisher, but he held him when he lost control of the ball. So it's O'Keefe's footy. The Swans keep on coming. They've attacked relentlessly for the last five or six minutes. Anyone at the back, Roberts Thompson, O'Loughlin, magic needed, magic provided, Schneider, he has done it! The margin is two points! He's an absolute beauty, Adam Schneider, Tim, he's just... Unbelievable that in, that in that amount of space to have that sort of skill. He's kicked three just miraculous goals tonight, and uh, they've got an uncanny knack of doing this, the Sydney players, haven't they? And I have an update on Luke Wall. The word that's sort of killed up from St Kilda is that he is suffering from concussion. He has a cut from inside the mouth, and that is what was causing the bleeding. At this stage, he has no need to go to hospital. His family has been told that he's OK. He's talking, he's alert, and his teammates have been told that he's OK as well. So he hasn't gone to hospital, Christy? No, he hasn't gone to hospital at this stage. All right, the ambulance was on its way, but uh, obviously the doctors have decided he does not need to go to hospital, which is terrific news. And back here, as the clock ticks over 30 minutes, the Saints are hanging on by two. Inside 50s in the last 15 minutes, 16 to Sydney, 4 to St Kilda. But a point won't do for Sydney. They need a six-pointer. Jolly overruns it. Pickett heads for the boundary line. Schwartz desperate. Forces it over. No, he doesn't. The ball stays alive. O'Keefe kicks to the 50. Hall's being held up on that game of Ryan. Good soccer off the ground. Roberts Thompson stripped of the footy. Now Dal Santo handles out to Milne. Milne throws it onto the right boot, and it's a good one too. As the kick finds Pickett, and he should slow it down. It would be cruel if the Saints lost this. Oh, no. He's turned it over as he kicks it to Kirk. And the Swans are coming again. They don't know any other way. They will not say die. This man in particular. Can Barry Hall do something? He just might. There'll be a ball out. Very hard to slow the game down in these conditions. You can't play possession. You've just got to keep driving the ball down the line. And uh, 
Justin Peckett, his experience, he's a smart player. He went for the short pass. Still got a game meter. He's when St Kilda get the ball, they've got to drive it down the line. St Kilda have to hold firm here. And they do this time. What tension for Grant Thomas. They have come here rank underdogs. They have fought like caged lions with their backs to the wall. They've led all night. But right now it could be slipping away. Peckett fists it. Goods fists it. Del Santo, exquisite skills, gains some metres. Milne goes for broke. O'Keefe holding him up. Now Buchanan, and the Swans will come one more time. For Goods, out wide, and he's got it. There's still a chance. That is a lovely ball. O'Loughlin is there. Brett Voss. Was that OK? Yes, it was. It will be thrown in. Remembering it's going to be a very long quarter with the injury to Luke Ball. Just feel the tension down there at the moment. There's been 53 kicks for the game. And they're starting to pay them at the moment. You'd hate it to be decided by a free kick with the pressures on. Goddard smashes it towards the boundary. Nick Davis, what can he conjure? Breaks the Peckett tackle. Davis on the right boot to the hot spot. The big pack for oh. Revolts. Nick Revolts has saved the day for St Kilda. He's been outstanding, Revolt, this uh, last quarter. I mean, we know how slippery the ball is. Look at the courage and the ability to take that mark under pressure. He took the greatest mark of his life on this ground one day when the Saints beat the Swans. That one might have been more important. Kirk slaps it inside 50, only as far as Fiora. Hurry, right foot kick back to the wing of the space. O'Keefe will get there first for the Swans. Got the handball out. Run down is Dempster. Throw in on centre wing. The Saints still lead by two. Great tackle by Brendan Goddard. I mean, it's probably not a part of his game that he's renowned for, but under pressure, very important. The Swans have been attacking this whole last part of the quarter. Sit Kilda need to get it inside their 50. Jolly, good tap. Cleverly done, McVeigh. Jude Bolton has to retreat to get it. Brett Voss has camped under it. And he holds up the Swans. It took more than five minutes to get loop ball off the ground after he was injured but there haven't been many goals scored in the quarter there can't be much time left and it's a long way from sydney's goal it is pretty much right on the wing and the swans will have to work one more miracle if they are to prize victory again from the jaws of defeat young michael ricks in his first game mill there to rove him Gains metres, but it's in the corridor. Buchanan, now, out of the slot, can he do something? The G train's up in midfield fighting for it. Kirk has a swing. Barry has a go. Buchanan back for seconds. Not much to go to. Not much there. The Saints have won it. St Kilda, a dramatic night with a serious injury to Luke Ball. But it has been a brave, brave effort from St Kilda, who are back in the eight. They have produced the goods when required. Let's go down to Christy Mulhouse. Thanks, Stephen. Well, Nick, was it relief first of all when you took that mark and then when the siren went? Oh, I don't know about when I took the mark, but when the siren goes, it was a good feeling, yeah. To come up here, we've had a pretty ordinary record up here in Sydney, a fantastic side. We've had our backs to the wall, so to come up and play that sort of footy was great. I mean, that was a really tough win. The, the conditions made it really tough. Yeah, I haven't uh, seen conditions like this for a while. Playing at Telstra Dome every week, it's, you tend to take it for granted. But uh, it's, uh, it's good to come out and play, I suppose, a traditional game of footy every now and then. How did you feel when your captain, when Luke Ball went down? It must be hard to keep your mind on the game after something like that. Oh, Luke's an inspiring guy. Puts his head over the ball all the time, and he's extremely courageous. So that gave all the boys a lift. Uh, you know, maybe it gave us that little bit extra. And, and you obviously heard that he is OK at the moment? Uh, well, you've just told me, so that's, <laughs> that's good news. All right, well done. It was a good win. Thanks, Chrissy.